Kofi Kaji. Welcome indeed to another edition of the programme. Well, this week we are teaming up with former Irish rugby captain Rory Best, who undertook a gruelling challenge to walk from Newcastle in County Down to Kong in County Mayo, a distance of 290 kilometres to raise funds for Children's Cancer Fund. An extremely successful walk, raising 500,000 euros. Well, Rory is a special guest here in Mount Falcon for a banquet to raise more funds for the Children's Cancer Fund. And indeed, there's going to be auctions and uh, lots of guests here this evening. He's also participating in a sports question and answer session with the guests. So that should be some fun. So in 2014 we opened Dizzy Lodge in Newcastle. Dizzy Lodge is a short break centre and accommodates up to six families at any one time. Uh, a number of families had reached out to us from Dublin, uh, from different parts of Ireland and we entered into a relationship with Crumlin Hospital. So Crumlin would refer families each year but they could only refer a certain amount because of occupancy. Um, and over that year we had maybe 50 families come to us in that first year. Uh, however, the demand started to grow and grow and grow, and uh, we just couldn't we couldn't supply uh, all those families short breaks. So we reached out to them, we talked to them about you know their needs, and uh, and what they said to us was they would love a dizzy lodge of their own. So then Rory McEvoy got involved then because he's he's patron of the Newcastle. Isn't he? Yeah, Rory's been very supportive from the early days and obviously in his career and very successfully. So um, he provided some seed funding for this project uh, that enabled us to get the site in Kong um, and get through planning permission and get the designs done. So Rory McElroy's been incredibly generous. So how, and then what was uh, Rory Best then, his involvement with the... Yeah, Rory's been a long-term friend of Cancer Fund for Children, uh, obviously through his his career as Ireland captain. Uh, and just recently, me and him have been talking about how you could get more involved in the charity and, and something significant. So we wanted to really launch Kong and Mayo, but uh, our services across Ireland, and we felt what we needed to do was a, a gesture to walk uh, across Ireland to raise awareness, uh, and no better person to do that on a on an island-wide basis. Did he realise what he was undertaking? A walk, 290 kilometre walk from Newcastle and County Down to Kong and County Mayo. Yeah, 290 kilometres is a long, long way. I think uh, I think initially he felt um, maybe he was going to run it, uh, which he suggested, but easily, quite very quickly, um, him and Jody, his wife, had talked, let's, let's do something that everyone can be involved in, but I don't think he ever realised how difficult, how challenging it was going to be. Uh, he talks about day one, day two being the toughest days, uh, where his body was just sort of acclimatising to, to the length of time he was on his feet. So he eventually made it anyway to Kong and in the process as well you've got a massive reception here in County Mayo and raised a lot of money as well. Yeah, many people just blew me away. I've just been incredibly humbled by, by their generosity, their kindness, their spirit, their energy. Um, it was just absolutely phenomenal the reception we received in every village, um, every little hamlet as well and every house that we walked past. So when we went into Kong it was, it was special and very emotional. Um, just knowing that Rory you know, flew that flag for childhood cancer um, and wanted to change that across the island. This is a great occasion, uh, not just for Mount Falcon, but indeed for Ballina Rugby Club. Yes, indeed, Henry, it is. And I'm absolutely delighted to be here this evening now to support uh, Rory Best and the Daisy Lodge um, Hospice because I just think it's an absolutely wonderful, wonderful hospice and I'm only too delighted as the First Lady President of Banlaw Rugby Club to be here to support Rory and the charity and in the beautiful grounds of uh, Mount Falcon and hopefully tonight now we'll raise another huge amount of money for the, the, for the worthy cause, yeah, so I'm delighted. Banlaw Rugby Club is going from strength to strength. 
all it is is absolutely going from strength to strength. Uh, the last few years, you know, the numbers are of, of, of kids, uh, girl, both girls and boys, playing at Ballinara Rugby Club has increased trebled to the point that, like, we actually have nearly outgrown our grounds. We're on a huge development down there at the moment. We we had to install a new 4G pitch, uh, which is an actually been installed uh, at the moment because we just couldn't cater for the amount of players and new members that are joining. So it's a great, a fantastic experience, you know, and it's just brilliant to see so many young people now picking up and, and playing rugby as well. Yeah, brilliant. And of course, there's, there's uh, sport in the family as well. Your oh, son's there obviously is. Rugby My son, Dara, he's on the senior first team. It was him actually that got me started down in the rugby club because when he was six or seven, he wanted to go play rugby. So I started down there as a mum helping out on the sideline and got blown blown away by the by the whole atmosphere down there it's a brilliant club and then one girl just came along to me one day and asked me would I set up girls rugby because they wanted to start playing rugby and that's what I did about 12 years ago now at this stage and it has gone from strength to strength and then my own daughter she's involved in Gaelic she's been playing Gaelic since she was four or five and she's on the Mayo senior team at the moment so it's sport all the way in our house yeah it's 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 brilliant so looking forward to the evening oh I'm really looking forward to the evening and uh, the amount of work everybody has put in to, to to make this evening like it's brilliant and I'd like to congratulate them all and congratulate Rory on a huge success uh, on, on his walk like I mean the amount of money I think he's raised over 500,000 at this moment it's brilliant and and please God we'll raise a hell of a lot more here tonight too. Uh, it's nice to have Keith Higgins here uh, former Mayo footballer and indeed a former all-star as well uh, nice to come along this evening to support this uh, great project. Yeah thanks very much delighted to be here I suppose like you said it's a uh, it's a wonderful initiative. I think you have to give your take your hat off to Rory for, for undertaking such a task. Um, you know, Anthony, I suppose, draws attention to s such a good foundation like the Daisy Lodge it is always a good thing. So, look, the more awareness you can get around it, the more funding they can get to back in it. Look, it's a great cause, and yeah, happy to be here. A great sporting occasion. I know he's doing a question and answer session later on with the audience there. Is there something you'd like to? Uh, Ask him. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'll have to think about that one now. I suppose, look, when you see a fellow with his experience and, you know, from captain in Ireland, all that type of thing, I suppose, a sporting background like that, there's always little bits you'd, you'd want to get off him. Um, might try and nab him maybe in person at some stage to get a few more insights. But, uh, yeah, we'll try and come up with something for him at some stage. And is rugby anything you would have tried in your earlier days in sport? No, I never got a chance to try it. I suppose at my own club, Ballyhonest, they, they've started, or they had started rugby um, a good few years back, but there was no underage really at the time. So between football and hurling, I was kind of, I was kept going at that. So uh, that kind of kept me busy for a while. But yeah, I was never too, too, uh, too big into the whole physical contact, trying to stay away from it. So rugby might not suit me. Rory, you've done completed your walk. <laughs> How are you feeling the day after the epic walk from Newcastle and County Down to Colin County Mayo? 290 kilometres. No mean feet there. How are you feeling today? Um, not too bad. A little bit tired, but my body's okay. Just a wee bit kind of, I suppose just mentally tired, ready to kind of just sit down, take it easy and uh, probably just watch a few programmes on television and just drift away and not think about anything. What kind of mileage were you doing a day of walking? So miles wise we were probably doing just over 20 each day. Uh, I think the originally it was 180 miles and when we actually tallied it all up it was probably closer to 200 miles so we were sort of the fewest miles we did were 19 and then the most we did we had a couple of legs were 24 miles so they were all in between there somewhere. Did you find it tough at times? The first two days were incredibly tough. It was a wee bit warmer. I probably wasn't used to being, you know, you're sort of, you're seven, eight hours on your feet every day. Now you're not walking for all of that, but you're, you're kind of, you're switched on and you're talking to people or your lunch or you're something, you know, you're on the go for that length of time. And that's a duration I wouldn't necessarily be that used to or comfortable with. And so the first two days were tough, but I think I eventually kind of got my sea legs, as they say, and I was able to, to complete the task. Yeah. Um, what was the highlight for you coming to County Mayo? Um, I think it was, it's really hard to know because we came through some lovely towns and we were greeted everywhere we went was the warmest welcome. You know, we got some really spectacular lunches. We were really well looked after by the local dignitaries and the local community. Um, but probably for me, it was walking down into Kong 
not just because this was it, we'd finally finished, but just that reception, knowing that that's where the lodge is going to be, that's going to be the local community to, to support the lodge, and, and just the reception and, and everything about it. And it was quite an emotional one because my eldest two kids joined me just as I came through Ashford Castle. So that was a really nice moment. It was a really fitting way to finish the walk in, in such a spectacular village and so many people in it. And finally, um, looking forward to tonight here now. I know you have a little bit of work because you're taking sporting questions uh, tonight, but it's, it's time to relax and, uh, and enjoy the night as well. Absolutely. You know, look, this is a celebration of, of the journey we've been on as a, as a group, as a Cancer Fund for Children, everyone involved in that, but also a celebration of, of the welcome we received right throughout Mayo. And it's brilliant that we're here and so many of the sort of the local people and local businesses and we're in a, a fantastic local establishment that we're all being looked after. So it's a celebration of, of everything that made the Cancer Fund for Children want to choose Kong and County Mayo as the site for the new Daisy Lodge. When I heard Daisy Lodge was coming to Cowan County Mayo, I said finally there's something coming to the west and uh, I think we're all just one phone call away from a, a devastating phone call. There's families out there that will never um, have to make fun memories with their children and anything that we can do to make memories with our children. They're, the days are long but the years are short and as a mother it's my biggest fear. So I'm sure there are other mammies and daddies out there tonight alone that are crying because their children have been affected by this horrendous disease. So it's very easy to become involved. So why do I get involved? Because it's essential to be involved in something like this. I'm a great walker and I love to walk, but Rory Best, I tell you, his surname Best suits him so, so, so much. And I know how much his wife and kids have supported him through this. And she herself is an amazing lady. And I got a chance to speak to his kids yesterday and they're so proud of him. And to see him with his own kids yesterday, he knows how blessed he is. And that's why he's the best and I'm no better man to walk the 180 miles, which converts to 290 kilometers. 291.2 kilometers actually. Uh, he did amazing. He did amazing. Um, just based in Castlebar. Great to be here, listen to the stories from Rory. Uh, long walk from Newcastle to Kong and the vision that they have for the new centre in Kong is, is just tremendous to hear about that and to really you know, look out for the children with cancer. Um, cancer Fund for, for Children, amazing, amazing organisation. And what they provide not only for the children but for the family, that little bit of respite which is needed and uh, amazing stories in there tonight and delighted to be here and to support it all. Of course, you're, as you mentioned, you're a Castle Bar based company, mm -hmm. and it's great to see a facility like this coming to Mayo, the first of its kind in the Republic. Absolutely, yeah. Um, you know, it, it's such an important, important uh, journey that these children go on, and um, for the families to be able to come to Kong in County Mayo, um, many of the families that have travelled from the west of Ireland up to Newcastle to get that little bit of respite, but now we'll, we'll have it here in County Mayo. And I loved Rory's speech inside, which was about the All-Ireland approach, and uh, I, Rory was a fantastic captain, and again, you can see him leading the way here, and uh, this is the second centre, and maybe there will be more. 
And now a little bit, Jeremy, about the company that yeah. you're, you run there in Casabar. Yeah, so uh, Thea Pharma Ireland, um, uh, we're part of a, of a global company called uh, Thea Pharma and they're based in Clermont-Ferrand in France. Uh, everything we do is to do with the eye, ophthalmology, okay? So they've decided to have their, their center of excellence in Castlebar and the headquarters um, for, the, for the Irish business in Castlebar. So I'm delighted to be able to lead that business and it'll be based on the Brafie Road in Castlebar. And uh, everything we do is to do with the eye. So you're talking about glaucoma, uh, you're talking about dry eye, and we also have surgical products. For all of those people out there who maybe go for surgery, they'll definitely get one of our products. So our centre will be based in Castlebar. We're delighted uh, to be based in Castlebar. The decisions were made uh, whether we should be based in Dublin or in the west of Ireland. And I'm delighted that the HQ see the value in being is part of the indigenous uh, Mayo uh, hinterland and to be based in Castlebar it's, it's a really great great uh, show of I suppose confidence in what we do. And finally and I know you've provided a lot of goodie bags here tonight for yes, this yes. Uh, banquet here yeah. in honour of Rory Best as mm -hmm. well. Yeah we did, we did yeah and uh, I suppose uh, one of our products Sailos Duo it's, it's a for dry eye really really good product of ours uh, but it was lovely just to be able to give, um, give the bags and, and do something that was worthy um, to support this great cause. Karen, it's great to see a group from Ballon Grove here down in Mount Falcon for this very special occasion here to raise funds for children with cancer. Yeah, we're delighted to be here with you all this evening. It's such a fabulous cause. We are just privileged to be with you all here this evening. Yeah. So, JJ Burke's car said, I know Rory came through Ballon Grove, your town, yesterday as part of his walk to Con there, and he got a great welcome there. He did. It was lovely to see all the children from St. Joseph's National School cheering them on. It was just amazing. Really was. He just lifted the spirits of the town. Rory was there, and it was just simply amazing to see him coming through Ballon Robe en route to Kong. And this new facility they're raising money for, Daisy Lodge in Kong, it's just up the road from you there. And I know the people of Ballon Robe are behind it as well. Absolutely, everyone in the area is behind it. It's such a fabulous location and these children will be so happy with this location, yeah. as are will their families. Yeah. And JJ Burke car sales, down from uh, Ballon Robe here to Ballon uh, Mount Falcon here to lend their support tonight uh, for this fundraising event. Absolutely, we're behind it, as is everyone in the area. So you couldn't be but behind it because it just pulls a heartstring for everyone. The team at JJ Burke Car Sales are always willing to give a hand no matter what charity event we do, and we're always looking for something to be able to give back to. Um, and we are absolutely delighted to be here this evening. It's just so lovely. Alan, this is a great evening here at Mount Falcon there for a very special cause. Yeah, yeah. I cannot. I was blessed in every aspect of my life, Henry, right? Thanks to my beloved parents. But I'm particularly blessed because I have four healthy children. It's everything in life. All of the rest of it, all the things that we think are important in life mean nothing to me. Now you're asking me that question, to me. This is all about. I have four jewels. And every day of my life, Henry, I'm grateful to whoever <laughs> for being as lucky as I have been. And you talk about a charity like this, there's nothing that resonates more, right? So a charity like this in our beloved county, I cannot think of a more appropriate cause and such a noble cause than I will do. And I've told them all here, I only met obviously the crew here, <clears throat> and I've told them, that I'm going to represent on behalf of the region here. I have offered my services to them and I will do everything I can because I cannot think of a better cause given the context that I'm blessed with four healthy children. And I think it is the best cause of all. 
and I'm privileged to have this event here tonight. You got chance now and well deserved to take some downtown time today here in beautiful Mount Pike. Did you try any of the sports here? Well, we uh, we went down to the driving range and hit a few balls, and to be honest, it did a bit of that. But it was mostly just in the in the beautiful room and just chilling out and taking a couple of hours to myself, and then sort of down, check the marquee, check everyone's okay. Not that I really had very much to do with it, but you kind of feel that you should at least walk around and and get familiar with your surroundings. But look, it's spectacular and uh, it's certainly a county that I haven't been in as much. I've been in Sligo maybe a little bit more, but it's certainly a county that I can't wait to come back to. You know, there's so many wonderful places in it and when you, when you walk through on a bit of a mission and then you come back through with a couple of dinners, you still don't get the full Mayo experience, which I'm looking forward to coming back to. Well, as you can see behind me here in the Marquis of Mount Falcon, the celebrations and the fundraising still going on to the early hours of the morning. Certainly, Rory Best will be very happy indeed at the money that was raised here tonight for Children's Cancer Fund. So we'd like to wish him and the team that are with him and everybody here at Mount Falcon, indeed all the people that came along to support this great event here.